never become the thing that you despise the most. Therefore, if you despise people who feed off of innocent people and take advantage of the weak or manipulate others for their own financial gain or personal gain, those are the things you should despise and above all else never become regardless how big you grow well when I got into crypto I always said that I wanted to keep things honest I wanted to keep things legit and I wanted to be educational and somewhat inspiring to those who wanted to change their situations around in life now as your channel grow or as you grow in popularity you're going to attract buzzards. That's a good way to say it. Feeding off other people. What am I talking about? Well, you know, here on Grow Rich, Grow Happy, and I take you guys into the background. I get a lot of different uh, partnership um, offers that, that come through. I don't have a chance to look at a lot of them. I actually have people that actually look through some of this stuff and they vet it before it gets to me and then it gets to me a lot of times i'll i'll look through it as well i don't get a chance an opportunity to look at everything else i wouldn't be able to make videos and i have a life i have other things that i do but um one such offer had been coming through for a while now um and i want to say at least this is what it was told to me um a few of them did get to me uh an offer to and i'll put it up on the screen a uh, uh, partnership with a uh, company uh called cryptonomy and you know um as you guys know i haven't really i haven't partnered with anyone since i've uh been here because i feel like when i partner i want to partner with someone that benefits the whole community as a whole i just i feel like when it comes to doing sponsorships and different things it should closely mirror what your channel is about you know and my channel is about you you beginners and about you people out there the the people that are you may not have a lot of funds and you know you may but you might be on a tight budget or something and you're looking how can i take this make it work for me and you know make some money or get some education and just change my situation those are the type of deals i look for well, I don't look for, um, you know, they find me, hopefully. Um, but I I do vet those. I have people, you know, they vet those. And so one thing that should tell you about me is that I despise people who take advantage of other people. I just do. I despise it. And if I come across it, or I'm a cynic, I'm always. So, uh I'm always going to say what's in it for the other person if you approach me with something. I'm always that's always my number one. What's in it for you? Nothing is free in this world. I mean, that's something I've always lived by. Uh to be human is to be selfish to some point. So what's in it for you? So that's why when I approach crypto tokens, coins, I'm always looking for something to tell me that there's a red flag. You know, and some people can say, yeah, you're searching for doom and gloom. It's not that. But if I'm going to bring it to the community, I want to make sure that, hey, this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool because I feel like you guys look to me to know if something is legit or not. And while I can't turn over uh, every nook and cranny, nor can people that I have at my, uh, you know, in my camp. At the same time, we do as good a job as we can. Well, this particular, back to this story, this uh, particular um, play, this uh, partnership came to me. You know, a partner was like, yeah, this might be this might be something. This might be cool, something that I could offer the community and be also me a good partnership. You know, I, I get a lot of them. <laughs> and then they, I don't look through them all. But this particular one, I said, I'm going to do a little research on it. I'm going to see. And instantly, and I'm going to do this with you guys because my reason for making this is uh, YouTubers out here, you have to be careful 
to, and if any YouTube is watching this, you have to be careful as well. You have to do your due diligence when you're looking at these people who are approaching you with partnerships. And just FYI for anybody who do want to partner with the channel, you know, don't be a snake. Don't be a snake. Be legit. And we could talk. We could talk because I want I want something. I want a partnership that's going to not just benefit me, but it's going to benefit you guys as well. This particular one, though, had red flags. And I'm going to show you those red flags just in case any of you out there come across this this particular company. And they're very known from what I'm, uh, my team and also me dug up. This is what I dug up. So, I, I, you know, I went over here. And you guys know I'm, I'm big on the research. So I'm checking it out. And I'm like, oh, this looks pretty cool. This looks like a legit website. Looks pretty nice. 2009. You know, I see all of this. But at the same time, in the back of my head, I'm like, anybody can make a nice website. I was a web designer. I know. You can make things like that. Um, I worked in marketing. So I look at this 850,000 cryptonomy users worldwide, 200 plus. You know, to somebody out there like you guys looking at this, somebody who may not be as hip to some of these schemes, and I hate to call them schemes. Again, I don't know. I'm just saying this is why uh, this particular uh, partnership was a no for me. And I'm going to show you one big red flag as I go down. So I look down here. I see all these YouTubers. I'm like, I recognize some of them. Wow. They say, hear from the experts, unfiltered. So me personally, I'm like, nah, okay. Wow, that, that can't be real because I know people take other people's identities all the time. So, of course, I went and I did some research and I looked up some of this. And lo and behold, YouTubers, some with a lot of followers, followers are promoting cryptonomy. So I said, oh, it can't be that bad then. Maybe I'm wrong. So I go down and I say, see what people are saying. And... FYI, when I see stuff like this, guys, and you guys too, when you see these five-star reviews and different things, me, I automatically say, yep, fake, I continue moving on. Even Amazon, every now and then you can find fake reviews on Amazon. Um, just something I do. When I'm looking for to purchase a product, a lot of times I go to the worst reviews. And do you know why? The reason I go to the worst reviews, especially on something that has a lot of positive reviews, I want to see what the worst is because I want to see what I can live with. What can I live with? And I know that sometimes, in a, in a majority of cases, a lot of the, the not-so-rosy reviews are the honest ones. And I've seen great products on Amazon. I go and I look at the negative reviews, and a lot of the negative reviews are things like, uh, the customer service was terrible. Uh, I ordered it. I never received my product. Things like that. Some some of those things like that I can live with. And I can say, okay, I can see why you gave them a one star. You never received your product. And you never got your money back. But when I start reading down and I start seeing things that are just really something you can't. And then when people say, oh, I ordered it. And when it got here, it was nothing like the ad. Those are things I can't live with. Long story short, you know that, and, and you kind of get that when you order from some of these, um, some of these sites out here, uh, Timu things of that nature. And I, and I know people who've ordered from Timu and they've gotten great things back, but I know people who haven't as well. So things like that. So I see stuff like this. I'm like, yeah, anybody can make these up. I keep moving. I'm like, that's just good web design. It's rated here, and they look at their vision. You know, and, you know, when I'm considering a sponsor or uh, the people that love me dearly are considering sponsorships for the channel, they're looking at all of this. They're trying to turn over every stone, just to let you know. They're going down. I'm checking all of this. And I said, okay, okay, what are you about? And I'm like, okay, people can stake and different things so they can make money. So this might be something that, you know, the Grow Rich, Grow Happy community could benefit from. This is why I'm always talking about ICP and their staking mechanism because it's just amazing for passive income so i look and like say oh it's another one they got this right here i'm going down i'm get down to the meat and potatoes because right here it says earn up to 180 percent apy on your assets and says start earning so i'll say okay okay so i'm liking what i'm seeing but i'm still keeping it in the back of my head this is just still 
It's just a website. So they give an example. Wow. And I'm like, okay. They give the staking example. And you can say one month, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. And you know me. I'm like, okay. Let's just let's go 12 months. Because I'm always trying to get the most that I can. And that's something I try to tell you guys as well. Which is why with ICP I say it's not worth staking unless you're going to do four years and up. I do eight years. But unless you do four years and up, you might as well just keep your your tokens because you're not going to get as much back. Yes, you're going to get something back, but you're not going to get as much of the staking gains and benefits that we would get. So I look here and I say, okay, it says Bitcoin. And I'm just using just for, let's just say, you know, we all going to be rolling in the dough soon. So I say one Bitcoin. How much am I going to get back on one Bitcoin? And when I put that in for 12 months and it said one Bitcoin, it says in 12 months you will have a total of 2.231 bitcoins. Guys, I was like, can I tell you, the red flags were so red <laughs> that I turned red. I was like, there's no way possible. So you're saying all I got to do is just hold, hand you my money. You hold it. And it doubles. Just like that, it's not going to happen. Look at this. They just sweeten the pie. Now, I look at that, and then I go up and I look at all of the people that they have. And let me get back over here with you guys. I go up and I look at all of the people that are promoting this. And, you know, it was kind of worrisome to me. And I'm like, well, either these guys just accept any partnership without truly vetting it, or you really just... The bag must have been big that they paid you with. And I always told you guys, I always said before I got in, because I've been scammed before. You know, people are always still trying to scam. I'm like, I wouldn't do that to people. I wouldn't do that to people. So looking at that, it really bothered me. And it reminded me of a story I want to tell you before I go, a quick story. Growing up in the hood of Detroit, had a guy that would occasionally make his way to different neighborhoods scamming people. Dig this scam. And this is what I want you guys to really put your thinking hats on with this. And he got a, he got a bunch of us. He, he would show up while everybody's out playing basketball. We all out in the street playing basketball. Um, playing basketball on uh, either, you know, whatever it is. Basketball hoops in the street. Bunch of us out there. This guy show up. Walking down the street, he has a Foot Locker shirt on. Guy has a Foot Locker shirt on. And first thing he asks you, he says, hey, guys. Um, and, and Foot Locker, mind you, were was about uh, 20 minutes, 20, about a 20-minute drive, depending on traffic, from our house where we all live. He says, hey, uh, I'm trying to catch a cab back to work. He gave some crazy reason on why he doesn't have any money and he needs some money just to make it back to work so he's not late making it back off his uh, lunch break. And then if everybody can kind of like pool together and give him money to make it back to work, he would get us shoes. He would get us discounts and then, like the most insane discount on shoes. Like come up there with like $20. And he'll hook you up with gym shoes for all of you guys, at least everybody who pulled in to get him back to work. And he would make his way to neighborhoods doing this. And he made his way to our neighborhood. Everybody give him this money. He'll tell you what time to come up there. A little, little while later, we all go up there, you know, because you want some shoes. And you get up there looking for this guy. He doesn't even work there. He just had on a fictitious foot like a shirt. And it's funny in hindsight because I'm like, he just can't, he makes his way to different neighborhoods scamming. And he does this on a daily just with a foot lacquer uh, shirt on. So what's that to tell you is he dressed up and he played the part. Just because somebody plays the part and they look legit doesn't mean that they're legit. Just because they have a bunch of followers doesn't necessarily mean their heart is in the right place. 
And while this is not at anybody in particular, but if your heart is in the wrong place in cryptocurrency or whatever it is you're doing and promoting, well, this message is for you. So I wanted to share that with you guys, especially when it comes to cryptonomy. And if I'm wrong, somebody prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Because then I did you know, more research and I had people do more research. And then it comes back scam, scam, scam. You got all these scams come back and then the real reviews come back on the channel but i think of how many people because i've read reports also that there's people who put their money into this site thinking they maybe is going to double their bitcoin within a year that's insane right who would need to work and then when they went to try to get their money back out they couldn't they couldn't so i wanted to make this and, I, and usually you know i started to just leave it alone but when my team looked and found some of these things and I looked and I found some of these things, you know, I was like, let me at least tell you guys, just in case you come across cryptonomy and, and, and you say this sounds so great, almost too good to be true, because it is. It is. It is. What did I tell you guys? If it smells like fish, nine times out of ten, somebody in the kitchen is frying fish. So, guys, just be careful. And... If you find it, somebody that, you know, is pushing something that is not legit, you might want to either, at least try to tell them, like, look, you might want to look into that. I try to do my best. That's not to say everything is, is going to, nothing is going to slip by. But those are the things I look for. And I want you guys to look for them, too, especially right now. They're coming after your crypto. And from what I can tell, what I just showed you, this might just be, a collection plate of them going around collecting people's crypto. Can you imagine how much, especially with all of the different YouTubers they got promoting this, can you imagine how much crypto that they've managed to rake in? Don't let it be yours. To the next one, guys, take care of your crypto. I'm telling you. And get you a, a cold storage wallet. Check it out down below. Use my code 10% off. Get you a tangent. All right, guys, to the next one. I'm out.